It was Sunday. I was sitting alone at home. It was evening, and I did not feel like working. Suddenly I thought that let's go out for a walk. Anyway, every day we are unable to think about anything other than office and home. In such a situation, when I left home, I saw that many people were waiting for buses and tempos to reach their destination. Then suddenly I saw a small boy wearing old torn clothes. He would be at least 10 to 12 years old. The boy was asking for food from people who were suffering from hunger, but no one was ready to give anything. Then after some time the boy went ahead and I saw a person asking for water. It looked like he was very thirsty, but the person refused to give water. Suddenly a car stopped there and the boy with hopeful eyes asked for something from the car driver, but the car driver threw out an envelope from inside and the boy ran towards the envelope, but the envelope was empty. The boy threw the envelope and moved forward with a dejected mind and then his eyes fell on a man sitting under a tree. The boy got tired and sat near the man under the tree. The boy saw that he was also a poor man, like him, who was sitting under the tree. Then the boy, seeing his daily situation like himself, talked to him and narrated his situation to him. The man gave some of his food share to the boy, and both of them started eating. This clearly shows that if a person is rich, yet he is poor. If a person is rich at heart, he is poor, so he has everything. It means that a poor man understands the problems of everyone. Because he has no desire for anything, hence he considers everyone as himself and helps everyone without any selfishness. Here I do not want to say that everyone is good or bad, but humanity is the greatest. There is wealth. After all, we are all the same. We should help everyone in need because God has made us better than those who do not even have a roof to sleep at night. A man is rich by his behavior. Your face can give a smile. Your mouth can praise someone. Your hands can help someone in need. You say you have nothing because poverty of the soul is poverty in reality. Only he who gives has the right to receive. Knows that the person who has the ability to bring smile on the face and happiness in the life of someone else, God never lets the smile and happiness in life diminish from His face. The true ornament of hands is charity. It is a message to help the needy people with a rich heart and not with money made from humanity.